Hello everyone, welcome back to my Minecraft single player world. My name is Master Yup, and with a little lag we can play on. So, I've done some work off camera. Oh, let's first do some stuff so my recording will be good. Uh, that's better. So, I've done a lot. I've done a lot of mining and a lot of building. And just some relaxing. Well, that's one thing when you've got uh, all these tests at school. At the end, you've got some time to spare. So, let me grab all this nice stuff and see how much I end up with. And then let me show you around the place. Well, that was a lot of stuff. This is what I ended up with. 48 more diamonds. Oh, I needed to smell that up. Well, I did a lot, as you may see. There are some stuff here which I didn't have before. Uh, that one I had, that one I had. This one I didn't. So those were 30 level enchantments. This were 30 level enchantments. And this also was a 30 level enchantment. And then we got this one also. Uh, our 5 Unbreaking Tree. So... Uh, well, what did I do more? Yep, I got some slime balls. I got enough for... At least 46 sticky pistons. I've got one stack remaining. So with that we can do some more work. Uh, let's dump these here. And just like the rest of my coal. And why do I always have eggs? Oh, there are so many chickens here. I always have eggs. Oh well. Uh, also, uh, let's to see what we did at the library. It's the first place. At the right you may see something else. And I lost my donkey. It's rounded off somewhere. I need to look for it. First of all, first floor, still the same. Second floor, finally filled in all the bookcases. And this is the nice room with the enchantment table. It's, got a, it's pretty nice at the moment. Third floor, also finished. Nice open area for some sitting and reading. Get away a lot of bookcases. Uh, maybe we would do another stack here, I'm not sure. And the third one is only laid out. The, there will be some tables here and at the other side. And furthermore, only the lights have been placed and that's all. Also, of course, I've got the stairs to a possible fourth floor. But I'm not sure if I've got to build that one. I also need to find some way of building the glass uh, well, the glass top here, that way, but I'm not sure what to do with it yet, so I'll still keep it open. Another thing I did is fill out this terrain until it's nice and flat at this level. Uh, it's the same level as the bank. Uh, that one is a little up, but it's not a real problem. I also finally got this figured out. Got a nice way up here into the blacksmith and I got finally got almost all ovens full with charcoal or furnaces. Uh, up here you can see a lot of more work. There are some more houses there, some up there. That's one big apartment building uh, which I'm not finished yet. Uh, these are well four houses, two two-story and two three-story buildings and this I will be will all be filled in with villagers actually. I will try to get one villager per uh, house. Uh, but before that we need to close this down so no zombies can get in. Um, talking about villagers, they are going to change that in the next updates, the 1.8 update. There are some snapshots out at the moment which will um, change the way they reproduce. And well, and that's one thing I don't didn't want to use the old-fashioned villager breeders, uh, which simply put a lot of or three villagers in a small area, and they reproduce endlessly. That has been fixed, I think. And now they reproduce at the moment. They are willing, and they will be willing. At the moment, they you trade with them. And for apparently some other reasons, but I'm not sure what these are. Uh, so let's go to the south gate. I also did some work here. 
Well, not a lot of work, but a lot of planning actually. Um, I planned out what to do with the castle area, which I really want to start soon. But I'm not sure what to do with it yet. As you may see, there are some uh, wooden planks uh, at some places. And these lay out uh, the area I'd like to start. I really need to fill them that hole. Uh, let's get up here so we can get a little overview. The wooden uh, logs for the wooden planks lay out the area I'd like the uh, wall to run. So one is here, straight up to the river. Um, the second one is over here. That will be right here. Going along here. Also this area needs to be filled in. I finally place the door. And this will run off to the hill over there. And at that marker over there, there will be a tower just like there. If you go even further, uh, didn't I put this one up? Hmm, apparently not. Do I have some wooden? Yep, I do. Oh wow, my armor is really getting broken all from all sides. The wall will go this way. Uh, this way, a little over here, just following the curve of the terrain. And here it will go over here. This maybe could be an entrance. I'm not sure yet. And over here, we're going through to the top there and top there. At these places, I will put a nice tower. Got a nice design in creative mode. And also that same tower design will be over there. That tower will be replaced. Also, these towers have a nice fire on top, uh, which lights up the, night, the tower on top. And will be some kind of fire you can light from one side to the other one when an invasion happens. Just like the fires uh, in Lord of the Rings movies. And I'm not sure how these fires are called. There is a name for it, but I'm not sure what it is. Uh, well, these are the things I did. I also did, of course, some nice fishing, but I had some time to relax and watch a movie in the meantime or something. Uh, but today I'd like to start laying out this area within the castle and have some meanings or purpose to all the things. Uh, I think I will populate this area as well with villagers, so there need to be some houses. But all, of course there needs to be a great hall for the king. Uh, great hall for me, ha 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 ha. Uh, well, the king. Maybe I'm not the king, maybe you can find some epic villager, or maybe a villager zombie who will be the king and hold a nice golden sword or something. Uh, but we need to lay that out. I've got one castle design, or actually great hall design, in my mind, but it is huge. It's actually a design from one of my friends. Um, I could build it here. But it's so large, I'm not sure if it will even fit in. I need to calculate the building size, but I think it's around uh, 20 wide by 50 long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 by 50. 20, 30, around here. So that will be the area of a central area, and then there will be some branches off from, for example, here to here, on the other side as well. Hmm, I think it's easily 760 by 100. Um, well, that's. We have this room to do that, but then we have only that one, and we haven't got room for anything else and that's one thing I didn't want to build so let's lay it out for a little and also I'd like to make a little task list for this area for things I want because we can build a lot of structures but we can also put stuff in it and one thing 
in a, someone I follow on YouTube uh, fall off was a redstone museum. Uh, it's a these or a uh, well a plan for Etho to build um, to build a big castle and every room has got a redstone construction which uh, he made somewhere in the past because there are a lot of ways to do certain things. Mm, I'm using the redstone to show it. But for example, uh, a standard um, memory block, which normally would exist of this. I already had that. Uh, something like this. I actually could make it working if I just break this one. Um, I need these as well. A standard memory or a NS NOR latch, which is also called, consists of two pieces of redstone, or four pieces of redstone, and this one. And at the moment, you send a signal to this one. Uh, to this one. This one will turn uh, off, which will turn on this one and send a different signal. Uh, but this is one design. Uh, I normally use, well, not with repeaters, but with redstone, but I don't have redstone at the moment. Uh, but there are also, there is a design with for this with pistons, which is made in a line for 3 by, I think, 3 uh, by 1. So it's a little more compact in the X or Z uh, room, but it takes a little more vertical room. So that's also a other uh, thing to think about. And I think I'd like to do that actually. I thought about it, I also thought from, well, let's not do that because it's stealing a design and I'd like to come up with most of things myself. But it's such a good idea, I can't just let it go. So we're gonna do that. And I think I will combine it in one big air building, maybe together with the Great Hall. But actually I'd like to take the Great, great Hall separate of the uh, Redstone Museum or Redstone Castle we can build it with. And of course we've got a lot of, lot of different terrain. My, think, my thoughts about the Great Hall were making a huge area. Um, with on the far end the throne where the king would sit um, but hmm, maybe a snowman because we are using a lot of pumpkins no no snowman oh snowman as king and then um, two golems as cards hmm. It should be interesting. <laughs> I need to write it down. But also, another location we could build a great hall is maybe in this hill. I of course, I uh, talked about making a, another village over here in this mountain range. But there is a... But that one is over this hill, I thought. Let me just go there quickly and look at that area. Oh, it's getting dark, need to be a little quick. But I think this is maybe an area for the Great Hall. Uh, let me just jump up here fast, come on. Oh, down one hill further. And I think here is the big hole where the other village would be. Yep, here it is. Uh, over here. Ooh, a lot of way <laughs> far away down. But this also should be a nice terrain. Uh, so I think I will do that. We'll just excavate a lot and make one passage only from the inside of the castle. Okay, that went well. And then the... And you can see the locations of the tower. I put two uh, markers there for two, maybe two towers, but I think I will just make one. Also be one there at the top, there at the top, and just every top of the hill. Uh, maybe also one over there, but that one isn't in the line. 
of the wall, so maybe not. But we will make one over there and over there, which you can only see at the sides. Um, so, well, let's lay out a little. Uh, the Great Hall will be inside here. Hello, zombie. Die, zombie. But there will be a bridge over here, going into here and the, into the Great Hall. And I think we need to go a little downwards, because otherwise we don't have enough height which we can fill up. Uh, so let's me lay some stuff out and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and did some work off camera. Uh, I may sound a little different, that's because I was sick uh, last weekend and I did the first part of the recording before and the last part after the weekend. So. Uh, yeah, my sound is a little bit different, but I need to record, so it will be fine. Okay, so I did a little work off camera, oh, and this is not going to work. First thing is I built my new tower at the southwest border of my area. And it's got a nice fire in the middle. I don't think this will stay when it starts to rain, but oh well, I'll see. And as you may see, there are some wood blocks in the distance. Uh, that's the area the main castle will be. Let me turn off this music. I tried to install a mod and all my settings have been reset, I think, so... Oh well. Uh, let's try it. First, let's take a look at the tower. It's got a nice... Oh, of course. Um, I... Oh, wait. I see the problem here. Not only did... Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, it has been done. <laughs> Not only uh, all my settings were reset, but also my controls. So I had the crouch on my left control, and apparently that's the same as sprint. So when I tried to crouch, I sprinted, and that's not good. So, okay, there are some different kind of wood blocks here. Uh, first off, the slabs here. That will be the path, the main road, which will run through the area over there and then onto a bridge which will lead into the castle and here will be a redstone museum kind of building uh, damn it was probably a minute ago uh, let's see the, the corners will be there 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 and there it's a pretty wide area uh, it will consist of chambers for our, for a size of well, the inside sides are, I think, 9x9. Nine nine. I'm not really sure, but uh, I think 9x9 nine nine is a good area. How is this one doing? I think that's kind of like that. No. Oh, I got that. Okay. Nice. And, well, I'm not sure about the layout, but it will consist of a lot of different small areas. So there has to be a nice plan in the middle uh, to walk through all these different areas. Also, there will be different stories, and I think it will uh, consist everything about of sections. For example, uh, one of these areas, I don't know, maybe even make the mine by 18. This area will have all the different uh, errors, lower latches, or memory cells, uh, which you can make. Then over here. You've got all kinds of uh, double piston extenders or, well, all these kinds of things. But they won't only be redstone, but also uh, other different things. And of course, maybe at the top floor, the second floor will be different machines. Oh, maybe uh, we could themes. Like the first floor, only redstone. Second floor, pistons. And the third floor, uh, comparators. Because these are new and I even don't know everything about them. The first thing I did with these is the uh, chicken uh, XP farm, actually. And that went 
pretty well, but I needed to search the some uh, other videos from other people who already did that to figure out how to build. Uh, the zombies coming from. Okay, well, that's a nice cave here. Oh, hello. Where's my bow? Where's my bow? Come on. It's running around. I guess it would be over there. Here it comes. Hello. Oh, hello, zombie. Out. Oh, 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 oh. Almost died. Almost died. Eat, eat, eat. Okay, that should be better. Let's make this area a little safer. Okay, let's see if this is a very large tunnel. Oh, no creeper. Oh, I guess that's a. I shouldn't. Come on, die, you bat. Thank you. Mm. Looks like this area is pretty large. That one goes at least to the top, and this one stays directly on the ground and ends. Okay, so this is an ending tunnel. That's nice. Not much of resources, a lot of gold, but no iron. Oop. So there was a zombie. Uh, where are these coming from? Okay, let's just come up the water. At least this area is a little safer. Where am I? Oh, here. Okay. Interesting. Well, I think I need to do that puzzle. Um, oh yeah, the last thing I figured out or what I am planning to do is making a bridge from here no from here or actually there to that ridge over there and in there in the mountain will be the central castle and ouch that's gonna hurt hopefully oh. help again again <laughs> let's see if we can get up there Oh, up there. Are we up there? Ah, uh, yes, that's it. And the entrance will be, I guess, somewhere over in this direction. Oh, there's still there. Hmm, interesting. I uh, surveyed this area for my creative world and I didn't even found the tunnel. Well, I did mine some stuff out there. I guess this will be the uh, this will be the entrance. So there will be a bridge going here, a little diagonal. Let's see if we can make a mock-up. I guess something like this. Can we place that? Yes, we can. Etc. Etc. Oh well, you get the idea, I guess. And let's just make some slabs to the other side, save on some time. And also, this castle area, I will try to populate. Oh, oops. I will try to populate with villagers uh, to have just some nice, well, some li living in the area because no normally you will build nice castles or huge castles. And they're completely empty, and there's nothing there. Ah, you place the doors down there. But I'd like some life in the neighborhood, and the best way of doing that is with villagers or with animals. And animals, well... Yeah, animals. But villagers actually have some kind of different AI, and walk around uh, at the day, go inside at night, so I guess that would be a little better. So, but for now, um, I am going to try and build something off camera. And I will show the prog progress report uh, in the next episode. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We didn't do that much, but at least we've got a plan for the castle area. Which we'll start building next episode, finally. Also, of course, I will be back to the first village. And maybe try to populate it. But first, we need to uh, get some lights up so the no zombies are gonna creep up on the uh, on our villagers. So, but this will be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like on it if you do. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.